Chi is and welcome my friends, I'm Honor Drak and we are playing Europa Universalis 4 together with the newest DLC Rights of Man. We're playing on very hard difficulty with Lucky Nation set to historical. And this is episode 100. <laughs> Holy cow. <laughs> I mean, we played about 200 years by now, so... I think that's okay. I'm playing about... Uh, um, 200 years, so we're playing about two years per episode. I, it could go better. Could definitely be better. Um, we put these guys up. I think I'll get rid of my mercenaries right now. Um, although we still have a sizable coalition against us, but um, we'll just go for six over here. We'll go for six over here. We'll go for six over there. And six over here. And then we'll basically have no manpower anymore. Uh, because Lithuania uh, stopped our recruitment. I really think that uh, they shouldn't have that much ability to to stop us. But oh well. We still have the uh, the young can serve, the army tradition, and the paper sanction of war and the nobility on our side. So we'll be able to offset the recruitment sabotage. But it's still annoying as hell. Oh well. I wonder. I wonder. Um, Teutonic Order is still busy. Yeah, they're nearly there towards making that a call. They're also calling that one. They can't really call that one right now, I guess. Oh, yeah, now that, no, they're calling that one. We're done improving with the Papal State. That's fine. Let us go for an improvement with Tuscany. It might actually not be a bad ally. But uh, they are fighting... No. Milan and Ragusa. France is... Yeah, not doing great there. Milan and Ragusa. I mean, they're sort of getting their land back. They got a... Oh, and we have increased bartering. I really don't want to pay the admin power. I really don't want to. Especially now that I sort of can do that at a reduced rate. We only have... We only need 67 now to do that. Right, let's go for the local autonomy. It'll it'll take down over time. The autonomy is bad, but... Oh, well. Okay, so now we've got our troops. We've got 4 times 4 which is 160k. Uh, which means that I really have to get rid of these guys now. So, goodbye. Goodbye. And we'll give our best leader to this army, Ignatz. This is led by the Emperor himself. And I think what I'll do is actually bring down the army maintenance. <laughs> Holy crap! <sighs> we won't be able to get ahead at all. Holy cow. That's not good. That's not good. Guess I gotta kick these guys. Goodbye. Goodbye. Guess I've uh, taken taken this all far too lenient. We have a huge debt now, ten thousand ducats in debt. We made our we made our vassal stronger, but yeah, cavalier attitude towards debt really isn't isn't great. Let's go up in speed. There's not much we can do currently. Let's hope that the Teutonic Order actually builds up their army. Poland has discovered building a spy network. Well, you're gonna get it, Poland. Oh, you're fighting as well. Following countries are likely to accept Condottieri offers. Who are you fighting? Cleves, Pomerania, Hamburg, Anhalt, Sweden. Cleaving conquest of Koblenz. Really? Yeah, that's not good. Um, I wonder how much they are willing to pay. Well, I can I can hit Clavis for um, unlawful territory. Looks like Mainz will actually be able to to um, rock this though. Let's improve our relations with them. Clavis wants military access. You're not gonna get it for that one, at least. 
Um, let's go and improve with Münster. They are an, uh, an elector as well. I do sort of hope that I can pass the next reform. We don't have imp uh, internal peace anymore. That's annoying, but we'll make do. We'll make do. Our manpower is slowly going up again. Our influence over Aachen has expired. No, we don't need that one. We need to keep our money back. Um, Sweden. I mean, I could actually get them out of the out of the coalition, I guess, if I were to give them military access. Oh, yeah. No, these guys are allied with Sweden. No, I won't. Sorry. Yeah, now they're even more unhappy. Screw you, Sweden. Stay out of internal HRE affairs. Got some Soviet Yard guys. No, we don't need the influence over Oldenburg. Austria wants military access. That's not going to happen. Truce with Ragusa has ended. Truce with Palatinate has ended. Okay. So, oh, that is that is a, a Hamburgian army. So some of these guys actually managed to get through. We've renewed another loan. Really need to get rid of these loans. Okay. Mines lost. Uh, Clavis is shaping up to be the next Cologne. Trying to take land. I'm going to hit them with... Uh, with... Uh, the unlawful territory if they take it. <laughs> Infantry fire. Plus 0.5. Holy crap. And the swivel cannon. Let's take it. So let's go for the let's go for the spool cannon. We only need one more admin or, or innovative idea, and then we'll actually be through all the innovative ideas. That's pretty nifty. Genoa likes me, so let's improve that. I do want to move into Italy next. Once I'm done, sort of removing the threat of Poland and Lithuania by feeding them all. Oh, Austria has been excommunicated. The Pope has excommunicated them. <laughs> Holy cow, that was a pretty big land grab there. They're in a coalition though, so I can't I can't make a move, but Yeah, it looks like the the Papal State actually needs to be taken down a notch. Styria has left the coalition. That's all fine and dandy. As long as Clavis doesn't um Full annex over there. Things should be fine. Well, let's let's call you back from Switzerland. Let's go up to speed four. Not much else to do. Um, Lithuania is now paper controller. That also means that the excommunication for Austria wasn't really lasting very long. I guess I'll be excommunicated soonish. <laughs> Clergy still isn't very happy with me. The rain has been discovered while building a spy network. Stop that, Lorraine. Yeah, we got the unlawful territory. Clavis took Koblenz. Clavis. Don't do that. Don't do that. It's it's not polite. What? You returned it to the Palatinate? That's not was I in, that that is not what I was intending, but oh well then. As long as you don't have it. I'd rather actually you have it than uh, than they do. <laughs> I'm not gonna use the Imperial Grace on them. We'll just have to we'll have to make do. Yeah, they are they are supremely pissed that we forced them to return land. That's just how it goes. Can't wait for the internal peace in the Empire. That's that's gonna be super amazing. <laughs> Styria is building a spy network. Really, you think that that's a good idea, Styria? Still got that level 2 fort over there in Saxony. We've got a bunch more forts than we actually need. And then at other places, we're actually missing forts. These are all fine and dandy. These are good. Fort in Landshut is doing a lot of work. But the fort in Nuremberg, yeah, well, it is protecting Regensburg. 
Mm, Fort in Prague is doing a lot of work. Fort in Eger might not be strictly necessary because Oberpfalz is protected. These are all protected. I think I might get rid of the Fort in Eger. Build one in Leipzig instead. Uh, before we start taking down forts, I need to think about things. Uh, we're paying a crap ton of, int uh, of, uh, of interest. Glorious will Bavaria be, Bavaria be. We have managed to produce very legitimate documents, which show that we have a historical claim on one of their provinces. Great. Okay. Gained a conquest castle spelling against Poland. We lost the claim on Potsdam, which is fine. These guys really don't like me. But they are in a truce, so they cannot join the coalition. The huge coalition, I might add. Leveled at me. It's not a comfortable situation to be in, but I'll live with it. Um, yeah, and I, I wanted to get rid of uh, of these. So let's get rid of you, definitely. And I think we'll get rid of you as well. We don't really need that diplo rep stuff. Can I get rid of that one as well? No, no, we must wait until 49. You have to have them active for 10 years. We're just at the force limit, 160 of 160. We are very strong now, though. Um, I mean, in terms of total troops, the Ottomans have 290,000. Then there's France with 230. Ming with 212. And then there is us. Then there's John Per, Muscovy, Ayutthaya. And then Lithuania, Bermanis, Mali, Denmark. Poland isn't on this at all, I guess. Yeah, we're, we're gonna we're gonna look intimidating. That's that's for certain. We are at our force limit though, so it's not a problem. Let's go up to speed four again. Uh, we're done improving with Clavis. We're done improving with Mainz. Uh, we might actually want to improve with the Palatinate. I mean, they're hostile, but they don't have to be. Um, Verden, their life is pretty bad now, and their opinion of me as well. Let's just improve relations with them. We're done improving with Genoa. Counter-Reformation ends. The Counter-Reformation served its purpose, but the era of religious strife in Europe is coming to an end. Okay, time to move on. That re that'll reduce the uh, tech stuff and the idea cost for us. So I think that's fine. We don't really need it anymore. That's true. Religious wars have ended. We're nearing the 50 imperial authority. I wouldn't mind actually having our guy die. Austria has claimed Salzburg. They lost all their Italian lands. That's a huge land grab from the uh, from the paper state, actually. That's crazy how much land they took. i got to take them down a notch at some point. They're allied with Poland and France, so they have two heavy hitters on their side. I think i got to break their alliance with France. They won't do it, though. Trust towards France, relative strength of coalition, no castles belly, trust towards Bavaria. How about Poland? Yeah, they would do that a little bit more. No, we can't break any of their alliances. But their alliances also make them weak. I might actually be able to force them to break their alliance with France the next time we fight Poland, which will come. Uh, that's definitely, that's in the cards for the future. Uh, let's improve with our sus over here. Improve our relations with them slightly. Let's improve with Lorraine. I don't want them ending up in a coalition. It's good that we have so many diplomats. We have to sort of keep them active. Ottomans has been discovered while building a spy network. We do have enough now that I could go for something. I don't need the prestige at all. We're basically at 100 prestige at all times because we are the emperor, great power, patron of the arts, have the Bavarian state orchestra and 100 power projection. So that's pretty crazy. Um, Diplo rep, I don't need it. I'll just go for the mercantilism. We should bring that up at some point. Eh? How's our mercantilism? 13, yeah. That's not a thing. I mean, I could spend some Diplo power for that one, but I doubt it'll help me much. 
Um, the rain is done. Oh, why did my income drop? Should I have taken that one? Oh, crap. Yeah, I'm the best. <laughs> Let's see if I can't milk my estates for something. That is loyal estates. The clergy are disloyal. Um, let's seek the support of the clergy. I can definitely live with that stuff. So now they should be a little bit happier. Could send an emissary to the Pope. That's not a problem. You guys could call a diet, which would make them even more loyal. And these guys I could ask them for a contribution. The Monopoly charters are uh, still a ways away. Give me the money. Give me the money. Give me the dipper points as well. <laughs> Burgers get ignored in the Imperial uh, land. Manufactories. While a number of technical innovations during the course of the 16th and 17th centuries has increased the output of production for some products, such as iron or cloth to an extent, the biggest improvement in the field of production has come in the form of new forms of organization. By creating manufactories, often outside the city limits, merchant capitalists can both bypass the ancient guild laws that prevent mass production in principle, as well as pioneer ways to increase production through organizing and specialization of labor in one place. The forerunners of the later industrialization are able to increase output by facilitating access to raw materials and mass organization of labor rather than by expensive new machinery. This is in itself a huge change over the often heavily regulated methods of old, however, and together with later technical advances, this new mode of production will come to revolutionize society. This changes everything. Crap. Okay. Uh, Denmark tells us of the coldest period of the Little Ice Age. The winters have been getting longer and colder for as long as anyone can remember. As ice and snow once again creep further south, this winter crops are becoming ruined. Wine is spoiled and the fish have begun migrating to warmer waters. That is actually that, that had a super heavy impact on people during that time, um, down to the um, to the height of people. People were actually shrinking during this Little Ice Age time. Okay, we're done improving with Münster. Ravensburg has embraced manufactories. How did you do that? Let's just have a look at it. Um, where is it? Institutions. So, manufactories. Where did it start? There's the printing press. It started in Valencia. Okay, over there. In Aragon. Okay. Have a plantation. Nearby friendly province has manufactories. Adjacent province has manufactories. Okay, so due to these guys having a manufactory, do you have one really? You got a manufactory? I don't see it in your buildings. How could you embrace that? Well, it doesn't really matter because now we actually get the uh, manufactories at a pretty nice spread. We don't have plantations, but we're still gaining it. So that's pretty nice that Ravensburg embraced that just now. And we can finally finish the formalized officer corps. Very good. We're done with the innovative ideas. So if, if ever there is another war, we'll go for um, we'll go for our another policy. So we're done with the discipline. Now we can actually bump up the, the diplomatic reputation even more with uh, that one diplomatic cooperation to give us that maximum boost for diplo rep but we can also go for the infantry combat ability so if there's a war we go for infantry combat ability and the weapon quality standards to buff ourselves up uh, for the next 10 years and do a bunch of damage to our enemies i might actually go for that one gain 10 percent more national tax i need the money <laughs> <laughs> we'll go for this one and we'll also go for the fort maintenance reduction and that should yeah that does something for us and then I'm gonna start repaying that that crap that's gonna take a, a good long while oh and I have two free diplomats that are not doing anything let's improve with Liège and let's also improve with France, maybe. They still don't trust me very much, so... Oh, well. But are they done with the center of reformation over there? Yes! <laughs> France, you did well. 
the United World. That is the end of Protestantism in Europe. Catholicism reigns supreme in the Empire. We gotta hope that these guys don't flip, but I guess all the provinces over here have religious zeal. Um, this has nine years. This place has four more years. Six more years. Um, this has 14 more years. But they they should be able to sort of um, do this kind of thing. Um, get rid of that stuff. We're done improving with the Palatinate. Yeah, at least they don't hate me anymore. That's something. And you actually ate Burgundy. I don't have a problem with that. That's fine. You can eat Burgundy if you want to. Burgundy must be tasty. Not a problem for me. I could actually take that one off the hands of the Palatinate. <laughs> I might not. I might not. It's fine. I don't want any more land or any more aggressive expansion. At least not in the current state. Not in the current climate. That would be bad. Can I do anything over here? I could demand admin support. Could also give them more money. Takes us a fair bit of time to get there. Let's do it. Let's hope we. Oh no, they actually didn't do anything for us. I was hoping it would would push us up there, but well, person that can calculate in their head is actually someone with an advantage. But at least we should gain papal influence now. Yeah, we're gaining seven. We don't have the counter-reformation. And we have a court painter available. Uh, let's go away. We don't need our sauce anymore. Lately, we've been looking for painters or artists to try to adequately capture the glory of our emperor. As it happens, a painter offered his services to us just this morning. Could hire him. Or could decline his services. That's a bunch of money. Decline his services. Uh, it's not a thing that we can do. We're still not making a lot of money. I think I'm missing some buildings. So I guess we'll have to take care of that. At least the Teutonic Order is sort of done in terms of um, coring all these places. They don't have, they haven't made states out of all of them. But I'm sure they'll, they'll get there. And they got, they, st they still have Stettin as their capital state, even though they have uh, Königsberg over there now with a, 49 development no 29 oh yeah that's that's the the whole state i guess the whole state of east prussia has 49 development um yeah so i think they have things under control they're coring vilna over there did they call that one already yeah they have a core over there they have territorial cores over there but they have a state court over there Will not will soon be done. That has been called. That has been called. Yes. Okay. So things are looking good. We're getting there. We're getting more stable. We'll try to pay back our our loans, and we'll also try to push for more reforms. If only our emperor would finally die, then I could do something more. But um, for now, I think it's not going to happen. Anyways, if you enjoyed it, please leave a like. If you didn't, tell me why in the comments so I can improve. And if you want to see more of this series in the future, please consider subscribing to the channel. Hope you join me next time. Thanks and bye-bye.